calling back with a long overdue vinyl update. <laughs> I was just looking at my uh, videos earlier and I noticed I haven't had one in two months. <laughs> it's a long time for me. Uh, but I did have all the other contest videos and uh, stuff like that in between. But this is a vinyl update which I haven't had in a long time. And I have a whole couple of stacks of records I've picked up over the last couple of months but right now I'm just going to show you what I picked up today and I have a couple of uh, Black Friday leftovers I ran into today uh, downtown at the Love Garden and we'll just get right into that the first thing I got was a um, picture disc Dio and Friends Stand Up and Shout, shout for Cancer picture disc. I don't normally get picture discs but this one I decided to get because I'm a, a big Dio fan. And this has uh, Anthrax, uh, Hailstorm, Dio, uh, and a bunch of other people uh, pitching in for this uh, picture disc for uh, maybe it was a concert for cancer I'm not sure but there's a lot of cool people in that picture there and nextly I got a uh, message from Rob from Boston and he, he mentioned that he had seen this song on some uh, website so I looked it up and I liked it and this was apparently for a uh, record store day exclusive release uh, ghost song from the doors and uh, I guess uh, they were going to uh, release this and maybe some others uh, from uh, John Densmore um, limited edition of 8,000 all artist royalties to benefit honor the treaties and uh, features Ghost Song by the Doors and Drums by Peter Lafarge. It only has two songs on it. Ghost Song and Drums. And it, uh, some of the vocals are by Floyd Res uh, Red Crow Westerman. He's a Native American singer. He's passed away now. But I guess he had time to collaborate on this uh, Doors album. And next I have a couple of country records. Now I already have these but these ones are in the shrink and in better shape than mine. And that's George Jones Shine On. <laughs> Not that kind of shine but yeah. And George Jones, I Am What I Am. These aren't record store day things. It was only uh, the first two I showed. These are just what I picked up when I was over there. Uh, this one I picked up at the Antique Mall. And this is uh, Leon Redbone, Red and Blue. I finally have about four or five of his albums. They're really hard to find um, in good shape and this is almost you know like mint, a mint copy I might be a bit rusty on this since it's been two months since I've done this and next I was really happy to find this this wasn't today but it was maybe a couple of weeks ago I thought I would throw in a couple of things I've other things I've found and that's James Brown sings raw soul and this is also in very good condition or almost mint condition I would say and that's on Polydor and next we have some oddballs here you know how I like my oddball records and that's three records with E.E. E. Cummings 
six non -le lectures. He's a uh, poet writer. There's one. Part two. Part three. And I haven't even opened this yet. I got this the day after it came out. And I still have not opened it and listened to it yet. And that's Pink Floyd. The new Pink Floyd. Everybody's already shown this all over. I know I'm late in the ball game. But I haven't even opened mine yet. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to make this a short one since it's been a while and I'm flabbergasted. Or just gasted. I'm just gassy sitting here farting and farting and pooping in my pants. And No, not really. <laughs> oh, I've been reading this book over here. It's a good one. Colin, over and out. I'm back again. Uh, I forgot to show a I uh, got something in the mail today from Scott Waters and I forgot to show that at the end of my video. So here it is. I got a little VCLT from Scott Waters. I already opened it. I don't know what it is. He said it was non-music related and uh, anything from Scott or any type of gift from anybody is uh, fantastic and wonderful to me. So let's see what we have inside the package here. Uh oh. Oh, we have Ultimate Marvel Diecast Collection. And it's got Ghost Rider. A Ghost Rider car. Cool. I really hope they redo this movie uh, better than, you know, the last ones. They were okay. But I think they could have did a better job if they, if, you know, if they ever have a new Ghost Rider movie. And this is cool. Thanks, Scott. I, uh, that's one thing I collect that I haven't shown here is I have a lot of die-cast cars. And right now they're all in storage. I have a lot of NASCAR stuff, actually. And I don't watch NASCAR anymore for some uh, personal reasons. It just brings back too many memories for me. But um, thanks, Scott. Sometime I'm going to sell my entire NASCAR collection, which is a lot. But I do have other uh, diecast related things. And there's something else in here. And let's see what it is. Oh, cool. He sent a Jethro Tull Minstrel in the Gallery CD. And I don't have this on vinyl or anything yet. And I will certainly be giving that a listen to on my CD player right there Jess Rotel this one I don't think I've ever heard of um, it's got Minstrel in the Gallery, Cold Wind to Valhalla, Black Satin Dancer, Requiem I like the song titles and it's from 1975 but I, you know the CD isn't from then and thanks a lot Scott for this uh, cool CD and I'll certainly be getting to that. And that's it. Thanks again, Scott. Scott Waters is who I'm talking about. Um, if you haven't watched his channel, check it out. Scott Waters. Cool. Over and out. Weirdos Unite.